Oh boy. All right, trolls. What do you want? Well, what? Is there a griffin about? Oh, I think he uh, just got away. Name it. Oh boy, maybe not. All right, here's the spirit troll. Sire. Actually, yeah, Cromfair is able to kill trolls outright as well. My oh, uncle Spanky stumped. Yeah, look at that. Uncle Spanky's thumb. Okay. <laughs> I am yours to command. So I guess if Viconia might as well single-handedly deal with these trolls. It's unbelievable. Almost feels like a cheat. All right. Lil Alul, Bosha. Boy, there's <laughs> quite a few of them. Something amiss? I think we need the uh, turnip trader to check for traps. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. Yes? How may I assist? Jon Jonsson, at your service! There's another door. Alright, looks like it's some type of library. Written note. <laughs> He's already over encumbered. All right, a tattered parchment, fragment of an ancient and tattered scroll, based on the uh, ellipses. Maybe it's uh, incomplete. And the sacred book shall be placed upon the altar. Let the consecrated wisdom of the holy word bless the faithful. Let the bell ring forth the final time in joyous celebration of his name. Praised and triumphant to eternity's end, the ritual is complete. Alright, so describing some type of ritual. Likely uh, we only have the second half. Elminster's Ecologies, Appendix 3A. Okay, a type of uh, bestiary. Newly discovered variations on normal breeds of creatures. Probably need to review this <laughs> as uh, we'll probably encounter these here. Dense puddings. They'll split into new puddings when exposed to electricity or fire. Okay. Fire trolls. They can only be permanently killed by cold or acid. Of course, not fire. But I think, hopefully, Crumfair will be effective against even fire trolls. Fission slime is actually not new. I think we saw that in Durlag's Tower. Yeah, they split into new independent creatures when hit. Vulnerable to fire, though. All right. 
Magic golems. Doesn't sound good. Completely immune to spellcraft. Certainly not good. As well as enchanted weapons. So we'd have to use normal weapons. Hold on. <laughs> That's uh, problematic. I don't even think we have normal arrows. Wow. Yeah, we don't have normal bullets. In fact, the only thing I think we have is, uh, yeah, Jan's bolts. That's it. Okay. We'll have to keep a lookout for uh, normal weapons then. Wow. All right. Marilith. A form of demon. A six-armed demon with a human female front half and the back half of a snake. Wow. Wielding six swords. Casting spells as well. Likes to cast immunity to magic weapons, which must be dispelled if a fighter is to have any chance with his armaments. Even though I guess he looks like a she. All right. Wow. All right. Doesn't sound good. Leave that with Viconia. Here's a handwritten note. In, written in a wild, looping, haphazard script. Nonsensical babblings. Short, medium, square makes big muscles. Signed, Lum. Okay. I think Lily will ponder that. Probably going to have to refer to this ecologies. As we encounter those new <laughs> creatures, I guess. Uh, pardon, turnip with legs. <laughs> That's going to get old awfully quick. All right. All right. Just want to look at the... I just want to see the uh, history of Cormier. Recently read about a... Uh... Yeah, here. Suzale. Of course, is the capital city of Cormier. Cormier, I think, is a little bit to the east where we are now. I recently read about a festival in Suzale called Chasing the King. I'll also relay it now. I guess I thought it was kind of interesting. Centuries ago, I guess the king of Suzale was essentially a madman <laughs> who would go and fly into raise, uh, berserking rages throughout the village until dusk, killing villagers. This is actually the king. But of course, because he was the king, they couldn't uh, really do anything about it. I guess in the present day, where we are now, they actually have a festival called the Chasing the King. And they take a criminal, condemned to death, he has to agree to it, they give him a suit of armor and a blunt sword, and they let him out into the streets of Suzale. And he has to survive until sundown, because the villagers will attack him. <laughs> and uh, if he survives that long, then they open the city gates and he's allowed to leave. It's kind of like a conditional pardon. You can look at it that way. All right. Didn't see any reference to it, though. Boy. Okay. Quite a bit of gold there, too. Shocking Grasp, level one. See if uh, everyone knows that. Okay. This is darts. And here, okay, another piece of tartared parchment. So of course we had this. Oh, we thought it was the second half. Maybe based on these ellipses, this is the middle. 
Let the bell be ring forth the second time in honor of the Holy One, as his name shall forever ring across the lands. Let the ritual candle be lit in honor of the Holy One, as his name shall forever be a glowing beacon to the faithful. So ringing of a bell and lighting of a candle, followed by placing a sacred book on the altar, and then ringing a bell again. Not sure what the ritual's for, but we're learning the steps of it. Okay. This looks interesting. Gala manual. Theoretical musings on the construction and control of golems. Also explains how to use the manual to temporarily conjure a servant of assembled flesh, which will obey the creator without question. Of course, uh, I'm always interested in that. Look at that. Summon a flesh golem for ten rounds once per day. It's awfully uh, neat. It's heavy. Five pounds. All right. He's going to have to leave her boots with the uh, M1 to carry. Okay. What? There it is. All right. You need my skills, I see. 